Okay, on this uh, lesson, you're going to be working with delta math. Okay, and you're going to be working with the data table and finding the equation. But I want to look at all of this um, important stuff again. Just a reminder, okay? When you have y equals mx plus b, just know that the m in front of the x is the slope. Okay, it tells you how fast stuff changes. If, cha if things are changing by increasing, it's a positive slope. Okay, if things are decreasing, it's a negative slope. Okay, the number at the end is the y-intercept. Okay, that's the initial amount of stuff. Okay, it's how much stuff you start with. Okay, and you can find the slope and the y-intercept um, with the data table and a graph kind of a different way, but you're still finding the same information. In a data table, the slope is change in y-values over change in x-values. Okay, the y-intercept... Okay, how much you start with is the y value across from x equals 0. Okay, in a graph, the slope, okay, how, fa how fast things change, is rise over run. The y-intercept, okay, how much you start with, is where the graph crosses the y-axis. Okay, I want you to start to see how all of these are related to each other when you do this assignment. Okay, so what you're going to do you're going to get a problem like this. And I want to look at this uh, different ways as we, as we talk about this. Okay, Nicole was given a box of chocolates. Each night, she treated herself to some chocolates. There were originally 24 chocolates in the box, and she ate three chocolates each night. Make a table of values and write an equation for C. Okay, they're using C for cost instead of Y but that doesn't matter. Okay, in terms of T, okay, so they're using T instead of X. In terms of T, representing the number of chocolates remaining in the box, T days after her birthday. Okay, what I wanted you to see, even though we're focusing on the data table, is just by looking at this sentence, the sentences, you can tell what the slope and the Y-intercept are. Okay, Y-intercept is how much stuff you start with. Okay, she's starting with 24 chocolates. That's the initial amount. That's the y-intercept. Okay, the slope is how fast things change from that initial amount. Okay, look right here. She ate three chocolates every night. Okay, that's the slope the fact that she's eating three chocolates every night. Now, it's negative because the amount of chocolates that she has is decreasing. Okay, but I just wanted you to see that you can find the slope and the y-intercept, if you really think about what they mean, by looking at the sentences. Okay, now let's go to the, um, as if you're doing this, with doing it on the data table on Delta Math. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to fill in the data table. Okay, so you want to think about the x value, values being the number of days after her birthday. The y values are the number of chocolates remaining. Okay, so after zero days, okay, on her birthday, she has 24 chocolates. So you want to type in 24 if this was your problem. Okay, after one day past her birthday, Okay, she's eaten three, right? She's going to eat three chocolates. She now has 21. After another day goes by, she's eaten three more. She's going to eat three more. Okay, so now she has only 18 chocolates. If you get these wrong, you won't get a check mark. You'll have to fix it. Okay, and after three days goes by, she now has 15 chocolates. Okay, so now... We have the data table. I want to remind you that when we have the data table, we find the slope and the y-intercept a certain way to find the slope. We find the change in y-values over the change in x-values. Okay, look at the, the y-values. The y values are decreasing by three chocolates. Okay, see how they're going down three chocolates every time you go down the table? 
the change in y would be negative three chocolates. I'm just I'm sticking labels with uh, my rise and my run, or my change in y and my change of x, so you can see this better. The change in x values, okay, it's increasing by one, okay, but it's days. We're talking days here. So the slope from my data table, change in y over change of x would be negative three chocolates over one day, reduce that, negative three chocolates per day. Okay, that's the slope. Okay, the y-intercept of a data table is the number across from zero. which is 24. Okay, it's just showing you that's how many she started with. Okay, so knowing those two things, we can write the equation. Okay, we can type in C equals, you don't have to type in C equals, but we want to put in the slope of negative 3. Okay, instead of X, we're going to put in T. Okay, and at the end, we're going to put the Y-intercept, which is a positive 24. So our equation is C equals negative 3 T plus 24. Okay, negative 3 is the slope, 24 is the y-intercept. Okay, you're going to submit your answer. And I just want to briefly just go over the graph. We talked about slope and y-intercept of a sentence or of a description. We talked about the slope and the y-intercept of a data table. Now let's take a quick look at the slope and the y-intercept of the graph that they're going to give you. Okay, the, uh, let's see, the slope, choose any two points. Okay, I'm going to go from this point. If you look at the y-values carefully, you're going from 18 to 15. You're going down 3. Okay, so to find the slope of a graph, you're going to find the rise over the run. Okay, the rise would be down three chocolates. Okay, the run would be over one day. I'm just sticking labels with things. So the slope from my graph, negative three chocolates per day. The y-intercept of a graph is where the line crosses the y-axis. Okay, there's the y-axis. My y-intercept is that 24. Okay, so the y-intercept is 24. The slope is negative 3 chocolates a day. I just want you to start getting used to um, how to look at slope and y-intercept from the graph from the data table, and from the sentence. And it takes practice. Okay, this is going to probably look really hairy for a while. Okay, just do the best you can. The delta math is strictly looking at the sentences and the uh, data table. So just start to, start to try to see that. But let me know if you have any questions. Um, just do the best you can on delta math. Once you get eight problems right, you got 100%.